Welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today, I'm just going to talk about, uh, I just replaced the lights in my new workshop at the Handyman Special House. And I replaced these, these are 8 foot fluorescent tubes. They're 75 watts each and they're breakable and they've got mercury in them. And uh, the ballast was going and, and one of the lights and you know, the other ballast didn't work at all. So they needed to be replaced anyway. So I went with the, uh, the LED shop lights once again from Costco, same as I did the last time. And uh, these ones are 33 watts. So you think to yourself, okay, well, what am I going to save, right? So I just ran through the calculations. You don't save a lot, but I'll show you how it works out. So the fluorescent tubes, so they're 75 watts multiplied by, here, I don't know if like you guys can see that or not multiplied by eight tubes, 600 watts. You divide it by 1,000 to get the kilowatt hour rating. 600 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.6. I use them approximately two hours a day. Um, so that's 30 days, 60 hours a day. And then uh, 60 hours times, I'm shaky, I'm sorry. 60 hours times 0 0.6 is 36 kilowatt hours used. And then the cost, um, so where I live, uh, we have variable electricity rates so generally I use mid-peak rates uh, when I'm in the shop um, and they work out to about 15 cents so that's 15 cents times 36 kilowatt hours so that cost me five dollars and forty cents a month that's for the fluorescent I work out the same thing for the LEDs and I get a cost of $2.38 a month. So the total savings is $3.02 a month, which is $36 a year. So, you know, not much, but $36 free dollars. I get that money for nothing. All right, so then I have another thing. In the backyard, I have a couple of spotlights. And this is just the shop. This isn't about the house or anything else. Anywhere else I use electricity. Now this is a 90 watt uh, incandescent uh, spotlight. And then what I have here is I have a new replacement spotlight. These are, this is a 12 watt LED. So once again, you go through the math and I use those significantly less. Usually the kids use them in the backyard in the winter, they slide back there, they play in the snow. Um, and then in the summer, they don't get a lot of use. But it works out to about 104 hours a year, which grand total between the two, I save $2.43. Once again, not a lot of money, but it's free, right? So in the total for my workshop, that'll give me uh, $38.43 a year. Not a lot, but once again, that's free money, right? So you think to yourself, well, is it even worth it? And it might not really be worth it because you got to buy the lights and everything. But if you're going to replace them, you might as well replace them with something uh, efficient, right? And the lighting is actually better. So the eight foot tubes that I'm replacing, I'm replacing them with four foot uh, LED shop lights. So yeah, I used eight of them instead of, uh, you know, the long tubes. Uh, I used eight of those as well, right? So it takes up half of the space, I guess you could say, <laughs> because they're only four feet instead of eight, um, which allows you to spread them out a little bit more. And you'll need to because LEDs are far more directional, um, but they are brighter and my, my shop looks much nicer. So anyway, back to the money, right? So $38.43 a year, that's not much, but you want to add that into all the little changes that you make in your life. You don't buy a coffee, you know, there's 365 bucks a year anyway on your way to work, you know, like just all these little things add up, right? And so let's just say you, you do that over 10 years. How much are you going to save? $384. So over 10 years, it's actually, you know, a usable amount of money. Over 20 years, $768. So like I say, it's not a huge amount. It really isn't. But... If you're going to replace them, you might as well do something a little more efficient. And uh, you don't have to worry about uh, your ballast going with these. 
Um, you don't have to worry about the cold weather. I live in Canada. It's important to have a cold weather ballast on my lights. And they're far more expensive than a regular one. Um, and then you have to worry about shattering them. Like if I'm walking along and I clip one of these lights, nothing happens. <laughs> you know, if I clip one of the other ones, you know, I get two shattered lights. I get mercury vapor in the garage. I get, you know, glass all over my floor. It's just not, it's not good. But, uh, you know, it doesn't happen often, but it happens, right? So anyway, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to give you an overview of what the actual difference in cost would be. And uh, I'll give you a quick look at where the lights are now. All right, so up here, where that one light is, there was a bank of lights there, two eight-foot lights. There was two eight-foot lights over here, and then four eight-foot lights. There was two here and two here. So I've replaced that with these three, and then I have these three running this way over here and then over by the garage door I've dropped them so they're just below the door so it uh, shows a little bit more light around here all right anyway that's basically it my workshop's a huge mess but I'm working on everything and it's going to get better anyway um, thanks for watching